beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Jesus will bless you. Make it ma, make it ma, make it ma. From the depths of your heart. Make your mind, make your mind, make your mind. Abu, Abu, why come on the pain? Abu, Abu, why come on the pain? Make your mind, make. certain dimensions of him to find expression is a price to create that atmosphere but if and when you do then there is no limit to his outstretched hand if and when you do the price is the alignment and the discernment to be able to set that atmosphere are we together now and when that atmosphere is set 
and then he comes then he reveals Jesus in a remarkable way Spirit of the Living God we thank you mighty things you will do mighty things you will do we honor you and we bless you in the name of Jesus God bless you please be seated for a few minutes our time is gone there's so much to do hallelujah can we honor all those who have led prayers worship great people bless our worship team international is the name hallelujah amen ah this is a big shock i'm just realizing oh my god please let's honor reverend ubandoma and his lovely wife So much. Hallelujah. Please be seated. I was hinted he would be around, but I didn't know it would be for the vigil too. Bless you, sir. Bless you, ma. Amen. Let's look at um, a few things. I just um, want to encourage us on a few things and then we'll pray. John 14, verse 12. Those following us online, the Lord bless you. The Lord will honor you and touch you. And um, those outside, there's so many people. Overflow one, two, three, four by the road. May the Lord honor you and bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me just take a minute or two to inspire and encourage someone. Um, I just felt it really strong while I was preparing to come. Before we look at that scripture, you can leave it up there. But, you see, let me teach you something about commanding results. Among the many factors that are responsible, please listen. Among the many factors that are responsible for producing results, you need a very strong sense of desire and determination no one ever succeeds becoming passive careless and um, less as fair about life there is a level of passion and commitment you must communicate whether it is the pursuit of spiritual things your finances your life ministry business whatever it is success will always find expression in an environment where passion, desire, you know, lots of believers want great things. They want to step into deep dimensions of intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Many people want to walk in miracles, signs and wonders. They want very superior dimensions of the Spirit manifested in their lives. But largely, our, the communication of our desire and our determination the staying power the capacity to remain until that dimension is unfolded in your life i think that that is where many of us believers need to make a lot of adjustments we are generally very passive very very passive and very quite careless over the communication of our determination for spiritual things and you see the thing about God is it takes a level of desire God loves everybody he does not trust everybody trust is based on a track record a track record of hunger a track record of a, a predeterminate desire in your heart many of us have come here tonight I came I saw people outside you know some lying flat trusting God for a miracle probably they were carried here you know and all of that there must be a desire you may not have the power in yourself to lift yourself up from the wheelchair or from the crutch or whatever it is but you must communicate that passion i love the people who led the prayers they kept adjusting our faith to understand that look it will take a hunger and a desire the moment you have options then forget about encounters are we together you have to insist tonight and say, Lord, I'm not walking out of here barren. I'm not walking out of here sick. I'm not walking out of here with the same level of confusion. 
I'm not walking out of here bankrupt of that dimension of the anointing. I came with an exact desire, an exact intention. And whenever you insist, you provoke the hand of God. This is very true. Psalm 30. Look at 37. I think it should be 37. It just came to my spirit. I'm searching for that scripture now. Yeah. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the what? The desires of thy heart. It is possible for God to come to a man and not be able to communicate anything because there is no desire. Are we together now? Now, you see, God is almighty. His possibilities are endless. It takes the construction that our faith builds to channel the dimension of him that we seek to see revealed in our lives. Are we together now? If you are not barren, there is no need God coming to reveal himself as one who can open up your womb. You are not barren. That dimension of him is possible, but it is not needed as far as your desires are concerned. So it is the responsibility of the believer to intentionally use your faith to create an exact expectation. Lord, I am trusting that you will visit me. I am crippled. I am trusting that this leg will work. Lord, there are all kinds of oppression in my life. All doors have been closed. I'm trusting that the doors be open. You cannot say, Lord, just come, do whatever you want to do. That's not a very wise prayer. You have to define. He said, give us this day. He didn't just say what we want. Give us this day our daily bread. He can give many things. He sent quails. He sent bread. He brought water out of the rock. There are several things he can do. You define the possibilities of God that should be communicated to you through your faith. But much more than just blind faith through specificity. Specificity of desire. Specificity of um, intention. Are we together now? So I just thought that it is very important. In fact, this is a general principle that works in life. Not just when it comes to receiving from God. You will never achieve anything when there is no exact desire. You will never achieve anything when there is no specificity. There has to be that dimension of exactness. Lord, I am trusting you for a move of the Spirit in my life. I'm trusting you that my ministry will step into another dimension. I'm trusting you that my family will step into another dimension. End the plague of sickness and all kinds of things. When you connect this way, then it becomes impossible for you to walk without a miracle. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me encourage our hearts this morning before we rise up. John 14 verse 12. I am a firm believer in the Bible. The words of Jesus are no story to me. When I read them, I believe them. They are not just scripture. They are life. I believe them exactly as they are written. Jesus is teaching here. And this is what he says. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me whoever believes on me he says the works that i do he shall also do and greater works than this shall he do because i go to the father jesus now there are all kinds of theological debates as to what exactly jesus was talking about um, many people meant a higher dimension of reality other people talk of greater results regardless of what dimension you look at it Jesus was saying there is a possibility of walking in a dimension that you were not born with listen carefully a dimension that is God's own class of results are we together now he's teaching us how to live a life that is invincible and this is what he says he says that greater dimensions that you have seen manifest you will walk in and you see, every time God speaks, before he utters a word, he vets and probes himself whether he has the capacity to make good that word. Every time he speaks, it is a communication of a, a resolve. He has searched and he has found out that what he's saying is within his capacity to produce it. There are several people in need of the touch of God. People talk about anointing all the time. They want to step into deeper dimensions. They want to tap into the wave of revival that is sweeping across cities. And by the way, 
I want you to know that there is a mighty move of God that is happening across the continent of Africa, specifically Nigeria. Um, away with all those blind talks that people talk as if nothing is happening. It takes the eye of the Spirit to see the formation. There is a mighty, mighty move of the Spirit. An awakening that is sweeping across and what a joy it is to participate in contributing our quota to that 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 unstoppable tsunami that will sweep across the nations of the earth though the word of god is full of prophecies that points to those seasons that a time will come in the dealings of god with men where they will be able to tap into higher dimensions of his possibility they will be able to cause his glory to be revealed across territories in measures and dimensions that have not been previously known so i want you to believe up front that we are a people who believe all of god and we are a people who have aligned ourselves to allowing god find full expression there is no limits to the dimension of god that can be revealed every time god looks limited the limitation is not his capacity it is our inability to understand his system and to align enough to bring down to be able to host all the multifaceted possibilities that are contained in him are we together now and tonight there are several cases right from home i began to see several situations that touched my heart and i said lord you can't let your people go that way and the lord put something in my heart that i just want to share with us very briefly and then we'll pray I have a passion and a commitment to helping people have an encounter a true encounter not just a noise making encounter an encounter with a definite result that you will leave and it will be very clear that heaven found expression in your life heaven found expression in your situation heaven found expression that your life will be an epistle to let people know that jesus is not limited in any way if you believe that say amen hallelujah first john chapter 5 and verse 4 apostle john taught us something very remarkable first john chapter 5 and then verse 4 and he said for whatsoever is born of god whatsoever is born of god has capacity to overcome the world are we together now that's the expression there whatever is born of god has capacity to overcome the world but then he says that that overcoming is engaged through a system the dear lady who led prayer here taught us about spiritual intelligence are we together every time you see possibilities in scripture now there are two dimensions i've taught you of accessing the reality of scripture there is the prophetic dimension realities as far as god's dimension is concerned but there is the experience of it where it becomes manifest in your life on the strength of your engaging the required mysteries that demonstrate your partnership with god to actualize it are we together now so here the bible says whatsoever is born of god overcomes the world the rendition there is has capacity enshrined in it is the composition to overcome this system and all the limitations that come with it and then he says and this is the victory in other words this is the system wherewith the victory was designed to find expression he says even our faith even our faith even our faith it takes faith in this kingdom to be able to produce realities that have been represented in scripture realities that are capable of being our testimony the fact that the bible records them does not mean they will happen automatically i think this is one of the biggest challenges to the body of christ i don't think we are unaware of the provisions that are guaranteed from scripture but the systems everybody says systems say it one more time systems the systems of the kingdom that were built around those possibilities the inability to access what system was designed to produce what outcome will make us continue to look at scripture and believe they are there but never walk in the experience of it it is god's desire not only that we read the bible and see possibilities written therein but that our lives become epistles 
that those realities that are represented in the Bible must find expression in my life and your life when the Bible says that a believer should walk in miracles signs and wonders we can read it we can write books about it but there is it's an entirely different thing to engage the systems required to bring that individual into an experience of it are we together the Bible says for instance they shall lay hands on the sick many people have tried it they laid hands on the sick and the sick were not healed every time you try a thing and it does not work there is something you do not understand about what you studied that's why it takes the spirit of revelation Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 the prayer of Paul to the church you don't have to turn there he cried they were born again they were believers but he knew that they needed to be assisted by a dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit otherwise they would never enter into the experience of the kingdom Nicodemus came to Jesus by night chapter 3 of John and he says verse 1 rabbi he says we know that thou art a man sent from God for no man can do these things and then he said unto him in verse 3 he says verily verily I say unto you except a man be born again listen carefully he says he cannot see the kingdom then the next verse Nicodemus says how can, how can a man be born for a second time can he enter back into his mother's womb and then verse 5 he opens up, up to another dimension he says verily verily I say unto you except a man listen be born of what water and the spirit then he says he cannot enter so he talks of seeing the kingdom an awareness of the possibilities that are there you know that there is a provision in the dealings of God with men for the sick to be healed there is a provision in the dealings of God with men where men are immune from the ability of sicknesses to touch them there is a provision where we are lifted above the grip of 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 demons and devils but it's one thing to have that awareness listen believers but it's another thing to understand the systems and the mysteries that were attached to be able to cause us to walk in the experience of that outcome so we we hold several scriptures that we cannot defend with our lives there is a possibility for restoration but what is the key that is attached i am passionate about revealing to believers the mysteries that are responsible for causing spiritual realities to become their experience just like shortly we're going to be celebrating the victory miracles upon miracles but the issue is not just an anointed man the issue is that underlying these miracles and testimonies and the manifestations of the grace and the power of God are vessels that have aligned themselves through understanding you see most of us um, the theology about faith listen carefully the theology about faith that is being communicated as powerful as it is may limit us from walking in the experience of the power the grace and the revelation of all that is contained in God faith is not just believing unseen things um, they don't have to be unseen faith it's not just believing on seen things so that they will manifest that's a dimension of it but faith listen true bible faith the foundation for true bible faith starts with an encounter an encounter without an encounter you will not have true bible faith an encounter is not a vision an encounter is an experience that is initiated by the holy spirit that causes a spiritual truth a reality the reality of a scripture to be crystallized in your heart the end of an encounter is conviction the end of an encounter is conviction You'll never be able to walk in a dimension where you are guessing and hoping and wondering. No, sir. Encounters are necessary for believers. That's why the Holy Spirit was given to us. The spirit of truth. Are we together now? So he introduces encounters in our lives. You can read 
the Bible and quote a scripture. It doesn't mean you've had an encounter with that scripture. You may even learn it and know it off heart. Sincerely speaking, it has not been released in your heart. But when the Holy Ghost breathes upon it, it does something to you. And that scripture comes alive. It's called an encounter. Occasionally, it may be backed up by visionary experiences to strengthen your conviction. But the end of encounters is that you get to a point of persuasion, unbending resolve. Persuasion. About the possibility of God as far as that matter is concerned. Are we blessed? Second Timothy, please, chapter 1 and verse 12. Let's look at Second Timothy 1, verse 12, the B part. Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 12. The B part says, For I know whom I have believed. Everybody say, I know whom I have believed. Now, you went to school, understand that construction. It didn't say, I have believed. Uh -uh. I know whom. So it's talking about a person first. I had an encounter, and that encounter caused me to believe that person and everything that proceeds from him. Are we together now? And then he says, And I am persuaded that he that person i've had an encounter with is able 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 an understanding of a man's ability an understanding of god's ability i have had an encounter with him i have had an encounter with his word so when i read and he says they shall lay hands on the sick it's not just story it's not just religion this is the foundation of true bible faith so there are no options in it again you know that it is within his power to change my situation you don't say well lord i will try you let me hope that you will work today if you don't work no 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 there is a level a level of resilience you see the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions it's obvious from the way we live and act as believers that there is a void there is a lapse in conviction and this is a product of um, the haze that is around our encounters with the Word of God not the reading of it not the memory of it but that there is a gap it is obvious if I look at this gentleman right now and I tell you do you know you are sitting on the ground he's not going to pray about it he knows he's sitting on a seat. Are we together? He's had an encounter with that seat. His, his, even his physical senses have, have responded to that reality. He knows he's sitting. No matter how I try to sway him, he has entered a dimension of resolve. He knows he's sitting on a seat. If I tell him this seat is going to break, he says, no, not just that I, I have seen the dimensions. I understand the strength of this seat. It can take my weight. Listen. God allows you to vet him and probe him until you find him worth your trust. God does not get angry when you ask him questions that lead to your faith being strengthened. Uh -uh. Mary said, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? And the angel took out time to explain. This is how it will happen. Gideon said, Lord, you are sending me to go and fight the Midianites. I need to stand with conviction. I know those guys. They are fierce. And so is it okay if I ask for a sign? It is powerful to stay with God until you are convinced. I know that there are people here, pastors who have come from several places. Let me challenge you. Do not make boastful statements until they come from the strength of an encounter. It will destroy your life. You will destroy your ministry. You will lack explanations. You will schedule a season of untold suspicion in your life. I always say never stand before Pharaoh until you have seen the burning bush. Say encounters. Bible faith starts with encounters. Encounters produce convictions. Convictions now allow you to act and take steps. It is that step that is called faith hello believing is not faith believing is part of the process that leads to faith faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction 
of who God is and the integrity of his word that's faith until action is taken there is no faith are we together now I've always given this example um, let me use you John hold on I'm going to stand there stand there just stand there I'm going to call John I want you to answer me but don't come is that alright John come say I'm coming has he come so as far as I'm concerned you have not obeyed me because this should be the reward for your obedience now you have answered that you are coming but you have not come I interpret your not coming as a sign that you you are expressing concern about my reliability you are wondering if I really have this but if I say John come and you come come that step of faith puts pressure on my integrity if I am joking I better found a way of correcting it are we together now yes the Bible tells us in Acts chapter 4 listen the Bible says that one time they were going at the hour of prayer and then the Bible says that they saw a man who was crippled now they were not stupid that man was crippled if you've seen a crippled man you know that there are no strength in his limbs even if he stands you know that he would take the grace of God and then the Bible says that he was calling on them to give him arms and then Peter said silver and gold have I none he said but such as I have listen I give unto you he says in the name of Jesus I come under an authority I represent a government and I invoke the power that backs that government and I ask you if you believe stand the Bible says the man was still looking at them now I hope you know the Holy Ghost was already hovering with all his possibilities but at the mercy of a man who has not manifested faith and then the Bible says Peter had to help him hold my hands the Bible says Peter held his hands and he leaping leaping the power is released at the point of action it is the action that makes it faith not the determination to act the determination to act helps you to eventually manifest faith but the faith is only when action is taken he leaping stood he leaping stood he would have remained there forever he leaping stood are we together now yes so when 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 you hear the word of god you see this is why the dispensing of the word of god is so important because faith is based on a basis and the basis is not good word the basis is not good intention a nice positive statement cannot give you faith it does not have the capacity to release that god is only committed to backing what is his word are we together now if it is not consistent with his character and it is not his word there is no platform you may act but you are not acting upon the word you are acting upon an information so the word of god comes and then you hear that word listen like you are hearing right now and you believe and the Holy Ghost helps your unbelief he supplies to you that grace and that enablement number one to consider that God is able it is within his power to create scenarios around your mind and your spirit that strengthens your conviction he can remind you and say lest you doubt have you forgotten that january this year something was about to happen and all of these anchors together to build your faith because a response will be needed shortly from you and that response must be on its on the standpoint of conviction everybody say conviction how do you look at someone who is barren and tell the person go it takes a while for pregnancy to show and that woman believes it's not when she meets with her husband that she gets pregnant no the husband only gives the word manifestation right and she leaves or you're seeing someone like some of you are sick now and then when it's time to say be healed all of a sudden how do you explain someone having a lump or a growth or a cancer and at the speed a fraction of a second is gone brothers and sisters that's what faith does I want you to believe this the Bible says this is the victory this is the system where we believers command victory as an experience by engaging 
their encounters produce persuasion lord you are not a joker lord you believe i i believe you your word is true your word is real you are you are not trying to flatter me you gave jesus christ that would not be a joke on the cross and on the strength of that lord i am willing to act listen the final step is action but not blind action it has to be the action required by god this is where we miss it again are we together confession is a generic action that ought, it is the manifestation of the spirit of faith the bible says we having the same spirit of faith as it is written i believe and therefore i speak so we believe and therefore we speak are we together speaking is a generic action but there are many possibilities we want to produce in our lives that require actions that must be added in addition to speaking for instance the action that is required for your heavens to be open is that you bring before the Lord your tithe. Are we together now? No matter how much you confess your heavens opening, you must take that action. And if you take that action not believing, you just dropped money. You drop 10% of an amount. It's not a charm. The power is released through understanding. I am coming because I have an understanding. I have a comprehension of what I am doing. And Lord, I thank you because you are my high priest standing in heaven. Hebrews 7 and verse 8, the Bible says, Here on earth men gave tithes, but in heaven he received them. Talking about the system with which God performs that function of his office that is in the order of Melchizedek. Right? Like he received the tithe of Abraham and spoke a blessing upon Abraham. So he, our Melchizedek, our high priest, receives that tithe and authorizes that the heavens be opened and that the blessing is activated on our lives. But that will never happen just by dropping money. It's not about the money. There is an understanding. So your tithing is the specific action that is tied to that open heavens. Are we together now? You pray and fast, it is spiritual, but it will not replace the action wherewith that result was tied to. So it is important that we have understanding to know what action has been defined by God's wisdom that is tied to the outcome we desire. Are we together? One time, Jesus prayed for someone who was blind. And the Bible says, in this case, he spat on the ground. And then made sputum out of it and put it in his eyes and said, go, wash at the pool called Siloam. That is sent. Now, that was the action. If that man turned and started praising God and danced there for one day, he would never be open. He would, the eyes would not be open. He was taking action, but the action was not the one required. Are we together now? Mary understood this and said, whatever he tells you to do, do not whatever you think he wants to be done so it is important that you find out what is the system of this partnership as far as this is concerned i want multiplication i want increase is it a possibility in god yes it is now i believe it but what is the system tied what does god require that a man do as a symbol of his partnership with him to actualize that dimension of reality we must find out so when we start scripture we are not just trying to know we are finding our place of partnership in scripture when you find it then you rejoice because you have found the key to committing god this that action is what we call faith and the bible says it is the victory that overcomes hmm. the victory that overcomes so what is the key to your healing the bible says they came to hear and to be healed there is no healing when the word does not come for that and when the word of god comes the power of god is present to heal and then the word comes but when the word comes it does not heal you automatically the word comes and somewhere along the line it produces conviction after conviction the word will compel obedience either through an instruction or whatever it is there are conditions for reception when you come for a meeting like this there is a condition to receive number one is to believe in the lord number two is to believe the vessel he will use believing the lord alone will not give you a miracle no sir 
it will always come from God through men to you are we together Jesus went to certain cities and the Bible says he could not do mighty works that was not the limitation of his power it was not the limitation of his spirit but the inaccurate understanding of the people to create an alignment that can afford him to move in the dimension that they desire tonight listen ladies and gentlemen God did not gather us here to waste our time it is within his power to change our lives it is within his power to wipe our tears are we together now seated here tonight are people who truly truly require all kinds of miracles there are people here to resuscitate their spiritual life it's like it's like it's like a man in ICU a lot has gone haywire the prayer life spiritual life and you're trusting God that there be a true encounter that refires your love for God you must understand the object of your desire and you must understand the system that helps you achieve that miracle there are people here tonight in response to delay and stagnation nothing seems to work nothing it is a bit comforting if other doors open and others are closed it will inspire you to trust that others but it's a terrible thing when all doors in your life close family closed finances closed your body everything closed there are people here because of an acute state of limitation invisible barriers around your life limitation is not retardation limitation is that a a mark has been created that you cannot cross so you rise and you get to a certain place and there is something that pegs you at that level and you never rise i watch it all the time pastors leaders business people individuals helplessly limited sincere but they are limited tonight the god i serve will take that limit away There are people here with sicknesses, diseases, infirmities, real sicknesses. Probably with death sentences from different medical hospitals. And um, maybe they've told you you have a few months to live. You have a few weeks to live. Now, and of course, we have a lot of doctors here. I respect their opinion. That's their opinion. Is their educated opinion. But tonight, whose report will you believe? I believe in Jesus. I believe in his words. There are people here with all kinds of marital and family issues. Husband is about to go. Wife is about to go. Children are haywire. And they are trusting lord would you give us order of course it is within his power to bring sanity and order i mentioned these things to build your faith to help you know that your situation is within the scope of god's understanding and he can deal with it because sometimes we stay so long in the decadence of our situations that we wonder if god is aware that such a thing can happen to men let me tell you the god we serve is all knowing all knowing and it is within his power to solve that problem tonight there are people here with all kinds of barrenness all kinds biological barrenness and all sorts of unfruitfulness in different areas probably trusting God for children and all of that I came back from Abuja um, in the course of the week and um, when I went there I was I was counseling a few people and then I saw a young lady I think a, a couple or so I can't remember exactly and they were excited the last time I was there the woman the lady had been they'd been trusting God for a child all kinds of funny medical reports you know she had something in her womb her tubes I don't know what what they gave all kinds of stories and there she had given birth you know to a very bouncing healthy a child and she was telling me the news and laughing listen be careful what you believe it is within your power to choose what you believe nothing forces itself on you you can choose this is a wonderful thing this is a fact but i choose to reject it it's a choice 
anything that is not consistent with the counsel of God it is within your power to choose to reject it are we together there are people here under all kinds of academic and career challenges no job no lifting all kinds of strange occurrences that are not consistent with God's desire how about demonic patterns mysterious occurrences in the lives of people patterns that you cannot account for God wants to step in there are people here and I believe this probably affects a lot of people especially with the recession the reality of lack and poverty Lord what is the way out Lord what is the way out I can't keep struggling from hand to mouth we've shared extensively there are all kinds of teachings about the economic system of the kingdom and I would plead that you get those teachings they are free because when it comes to prosperity the gospel has to be taught there is an understanding that must be built in your mind now God can give you breakthrough as a communication of his might and mercy but you are never established financially through breakthrough it will take an understanding to build a system that lifts you out of the realm and the grip of poverty forever say amen, amen. there are people here trusting God for direction you have come confused not knowing what to do you thought you had God but right now you are in the middle of total confusion and God must speak for you I want to welcome you because in his presence there is direction and finally all of these are lists that the Spirit of God was just writing out for me as I I mean just stating out as I, I I wrote them out and lastly there are people here trusting God for very strong impartations what is an impartation a transference of possibilities transference of possibilities impartation is as real as the chair you're sitting on you can transfer possibilities possibilities also come with the alignment that makes those dimensions of the anointing function freely transference of possibilities see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that if you are not sure it is not there it's like a woman who is pregnant for a while she may doubt if she's pregnant or not but the time comes it becomes very clear very obvious regardless of where your request falls in this I want you to know that the God of heaven who has gathered us tonight will visit you and give you testimonies it's going to be a very quick walk tonight the Lord is going to be healing the sick the Lord is going to be setting the captives free and like I told us last week it is also an anointing service and I don't I don't do anointing services carelessly but there are instructions that God gave me the anointing oil that will be used tonight the Lord asked me it's been with me since uh, I think yesterday I prayed with it all through until um, it was only this morning while I was coming that I carried it and brought it there is a heavy grace oil does not anoint the oil has to be anointed itself by a, a vessel who is anointed nothing is anointed on its own it has to be anointed to become a platform are we together now tonight what is your responsibility be convicted be persuaded that God is able all that has happened before now the prayers the testimonies and all of that is to build your faith some of you are coming here for the first time you've heard about the miracles many of you have a cynical attitude of doubting men of God everybody you see walking in unusual dimensions of the anointing we have joined naysayers around town to think everybody is fake everybody is a devil everybody is using charm you know I humorously said it last week uh, even if you use charm the condition to carry the kind of power you see even through a charm is a condition that you have to think twice people just say it as if you just collect a charm and put it in your pocket no sir God gave gifts to men the gifts are not talents the gifts are people he anointed people by his predetermined counsel so that they can be platforms to be able to communicate his possibilities to people I'm honored every time I have the opportunity to minister there are people streaming from all over the world with different issues several nations at least 47 or so nations of the world if I'm not mistaken connecting and God cannot be joking he's not playing games with us are we together everybody say I believe 
Say, Lord, tonight I believe you. I know you are able and I trust you to step in. In the name of Jesus. It will be for you like day and night. Just all of a sudden, you will find out that that door that has been closed, maybe forever. Listen, it doesn't take time. Time is not in the equation. I've taught you this. Time is never in the equation. The anointing of the Spirit is not a suggestion. The anointing of the Spirit is God's possibility at work in men that causes men to manifest results they were not born with. Are we together now? We are talking about a dimension that is superior to any intelligence of men. This is not some kind of superior science. This is not superior spiritism. We are talking of God showing up in the scene. Standing face to face with a man's barrier. Hallelujah. I want you to be angry tonight. And insist. Thank you. And say Lord that door must be open. I was so touched and blessed during the prayer session. Have you experienced the reality of triumph? I mean there are people here who, whose testimonies have been tearsome. Tonight you can activate something that will make your six to eight hours spent here to be worth the while. That you get up in the morning and within three days, one door opens, another door opens, another dimension of encounter. All of a sudden, hunger. All of a sudden, you step back to your church and fire on the altar. I mean, just by stepping and people are rising up from wheelchairs and miracles, signs and wonders. You bless people, you shake someone's hand, and all through that day, a door opens. You introduce something. I believe it. I believe it. The Lord wants to turn you to literally be supernatural. Supernatural. Not just in this blind talk of supernatural that does not produce results. Literally, that your life becomes a testament. That they would look at you like they did Paul and Barnabas and they call them Zeus and Hermes, Greek gods, because they, they discerned that this level of result cannot happen with men. Listen, believe it. Believe it, brothers and sisters. Yokes are breakable, causes are destroyable, limitations are breakable. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sicknesses are healable anointings are impartable there is nothing that you desire don't make it look as though god is mising his power no he is able to stretch his hands and do mighty things but you must believe tonight we love ourselves but everybody is going to have to stand and contend and say lord i have seen a dimension of your grace but i must step into it lord i have seen a dimension of breakthrough and favor but it's not yet a reality in my life. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be you over the victor's you world. The victor's crown. Hold on. You overcome. You know why I started singing that song? I saw a crown. That's why I started singing it. Listen, you see, the way the Spirit of God works is that He reveals the dimension of God that He wants to make manifest in the midst of the people. Are we together now? That's why I raised that song. You need to learn how to partner with the supernatural. He shows you like a luring. This is the dimension. It's up to you to respond. Yeah, Lord, we receive. The spirit and the bride telling the word to come. The word has revealed his intention. So the spirit communicates to the bride. And the bride in partnership with the spirit says, Come, come, Lord Jesus. Come, miracles. Come, breakthroughs. Come, deliverances. Come open doors, come speed, come speed, lose chains, lose bands. God is a mighty God. Do not allow your situations 
diminish the power of God it doesn't take time the level of grace it takes to produce your results is available mm. it's available I've taught you that there are three dimensions for reception in the spirit number one is through encounters when you have an encounter something is deposited into you number two by obedience to principles there is a dimension of god's power that is deposited in principles whether a believer or a non-believer whoever activates those principles that dimension of his power is released immediately like the power of seed time and harvest is not for christians a dimension of god's power was encapsulated in that principle but the third dimension of reception is alignment through a man's covenant with god men have covenant with god not old and new their dealings with God have brought them to a point where God has vowed a vow on their behalf and you can stand upon the platform of their dealings with God and receive realities that your faith level cannot afford every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victors round you overcome you overcome Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Let me tell you something that happened yesterday. I didn't plan to share it, but but something happened. I was sleeping, and I had a dream. I thought it was a dream. Yesterday, now, while I was sleeping, I had a dream. And then because I had kept the jar of oil and I opened the cover and then I had a dream now you know I don't share so much of my encounters because there are all kinds of cynical people and I had the, a dream and then the Lord was telling me you know I should how I'm going to pray on the oil that later on we used to minister to you and then something strange happened I just opened my eyes and there was an angel standing at the door my door now now those those experiences are not strange to me you know but this was very unique he stood there and i looked and oil started coming out of my hand and the lord says i should put my hand on this jar this jar and i tell you i was surprised it would almost be maybe the quarter the size of a cup i just put my hand there and i was just praying in the spirit that was the instruction that god gave me gave me that instruction that's why i told you oil does not anoint there is an encounter there is an encounter are we together now there is an encounter and when it began to happen i was i was i was well i wasn't surprised but then when everything was done the angel never even said anything just at my door just stood there and was watching and when it was time I noticed of course my hands were still wet but it didn't seem to be flowing and that was it whether he went through the door went up I don't even know how he left and that was the end of it right from the time you know my boys had come to work for me I started sensing that there were going to be visitations of the spirit and I was hurrying up to dismiss them as soon as they left I just locked the door and I sat down and boom my room was full of God's presence and all of that and, and I, I when I sat down my eyes were open and all of a sudden I saw gates gates opening like gates very strange gates opening but then I knew that God by that vision was telling me what among other things would happen in the meeting but most importantly what the anointing would do listen ladies and gentlemen the Lord will bring breakthroughs in your life today that will surprise you you believe that rise up on your feet I want you to lift up your voice and pray one minute and say, Father, I'm set for your visitation. My faith is alive and I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. My faith is alive. I believe you. Jabrandos katapracatalados. Encreto katalabrande secate pracatalabadas. Jabrete cate proscodo brandi gedibalas. Jabrandes cariada balarabalarabos. Lord, we receive. We receive. Hallelujah.
we are going to be very fast tonight is a vigil i know that in fact you can't believe how far time has gone but i trust god for grace tonight i want to see how god will grant me grace and i'll be able to come out to all the overflows all the overflows one two three by the grace of god and he will grant us grace in the name of jesus christ 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 please bring the three people now that the power of god comes i'm seeing an angel walking and touching three people in here all inside here now Will you open up the gate? Yeah. Open up the door. Will you open up the gate? Karato Sodo Braska da Balia Takata. Open up the gate. Abranda Gata Sodo Bosco La Baria Takata. Open up the door. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray for breakthrough now. Such a strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. There are people here who have been tied. It's time to release that grace for breakthrough. And I want you to bring them out. Please don't stop playing. Please, guys, you know this. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Right now, at the count of three, let that breakthrough anointing right now begin to touch and change the lives of people. One, two, three. Take that breakthrough now. Take that breakthrough now. Bring them out. Shapatakata. Step into that dimension. Take it, take it, take it, folks. Right at the back. I see the angels of the Lord bringing people into strange levels of breakthrough. Breakthrough. Shapatos kelataria. Mente kotos shotos. E prekete kaya. No limitation. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Breakthroughs. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost, breakthroughs. Shapos katalatosia, embrekete ketos, shakato setas. Never be the same. Never be the same. Lift your hands. I see a key hanging in the realm of the spirit. This is access. There are men right now. You are entering into dimensions of possibilities. your hands at the count of three i want you to shout jesus this is a baptism keys that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing a bunch of keys lord jesus for your glory let the closed door open at the count of three one two three the name that is above all names access in the realm of the spirit Shapato sote lekata I command access right now by the power of the Holy Ghost access to dimensions access to levels access to possibilities close doors opening the Lord showed me gates and I decree those gates are opening, 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 opening in the name of Jesus. Those gates are opening. No power stands against you tonight. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, 
there is liberty I decree and declare the opening of strange gates the opening of strange gates hallelujah hallelujah we are going to do a quick walk please clear this way for me there are two angels that stand before me now my left and my right and the Lord is asking me to pass round and come I will do that very quickly as I do that the Lord is going to be breaking chains and taking away limitations in the name of Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus miracles 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost supernatural miracles take them out in the name of Jesus miracles in the name of Jesus miracles 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 by the anointing of the Holy Ghost miracles in the name of Jesus supernatural miracles I release you now I release you now I release you now I release you now step into anointings step into graces in the name of Jesus Christ by the Spirit of the Living God there are chains I've seen on people's hands chains 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 break it now chains break it now chains break it now get ready this road I see chains 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 let it break now let it break now in the name of Jesus let it break now now by the power of the Holy Ghost let it break now in the name of Jesus supernatural miracles chains breaking in the name of Jesus chains breaking in the name of Jesus chains breaking in the name of Jesus chains breaking chains breaking Chains breaking, chains breaking, breaking, breaking. Shadow sotosh kalai, rakataka. Let it break now. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands here. I stretch my hands right now. Every chain, in the name of Jesus. This is a miracle service. I command that the chains are broken, 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 broken now, broken now. In the name of Jesus broken you can't stand it that chain breaks now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost 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 I'm seeing the hand of the Lord a wind of his spirit coming here Lord what is happening here in the name of Jesus Shebas kotos kaba embreke to sheteleketa brata soto shopres kea am brata ya am seeing someone being taken out of a pit out of a pit out of a pit in the name of Jesus the son of the living God out of a pit I proclaim it the spirit of the Lord is upon me and I decree and declare I decree and declare captivity ended in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a ring in someone's finger. That demonic ring leaves now. That demonic ring leaves now. I see it by the Spirit. That demonic ring leaves now. I curse it by the God of heaven. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I see rings. Rings. I curse it by the God of heaven. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Ata paratoshi, ente karato kotoba, shekretos kilabaya, embreketo koshubreke. Can I go out? Brata karoto shubreke deka. Those outside, I want you to get ready. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. The Lord is saying I should stretch my hands here. This media place in the name of Jesus. Barato Shesesika Ekreto Sopraka Maleketo Shekreskaya Ebrekete Ketelekata Shabrakato Skedea Those here, I want you to lift your hands. No matter where you are. 
no matter where you are, I want you to believe. As soon as I pass here, no matter what the issue is, the hand of God is about to touch you. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, let there be miracles. Now, I pass this rose. Let there be miracles. Every strange spirit. Now, be gone, be gone, be gone now. In the name of Jesus, be gone now. Every strange spirit. The Lord Jesus is in this place. The Lord Jesus is in this place. Kapota kata. I stretch my hands now. Over, 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 over. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Over now. In the name of Jesus. Now, now, now. In the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Stand up. Stand up. In the name of Jesus. Hold the baby. Now, out of her. Jesus Christ, I command that devil, Madam, look at me. The Lord is bringing you breakthrough now. I'm seeing you crying, and the Lord is saying, in your tears. I'm coming to you. I know you are far, but I will come to you. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, the anointing is taught some people here. I'm still like chains broken. Chains broken. Let it break right now. In the name of Jesus, out of him. in this young man be gone now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus out now out now out now out now be gone in the name of Jesus be gone in the name of Jesus be gone in the name of Jesus look at me my dear the Lord is saying I should tell you that your sins are over over in the name of Jesus. Over now, in the name of Jesus. Say no matter where you are, no matter how far, I want you to connect by faith. Look at me. Delay over your family ends now. Ends now in the name of Jesus Christ. Clear and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, there is a spirit in this. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone here. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing. There's someone here God wants to. Now. Declare. Where is that person? I cause that spirit now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me come to this tent overflow now. Lift your hands all of you. Lift your hands all of you. Lift your hands. Now. Listen. The Lord is giving me an instruction. All of you are, I don't know what overflow is this. Four now. Three. Overflow. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Something is going to happen right to the back. I'm seeing fire. One, two, three. Now. Now, now, now. Cause those spirits. I release breakthroughs now. In this overflow. In the name of Jesus. To the back. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I'm seeing several of you inside pits. Come out now. Come now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Hold on. Be careful. Please be careful. Ezekiel. Hallelujah. Ezekiel. Atoso Brindikel. There is something. God is touching you. The first four rows inside. Inside the main building. First four rows. There's someone right now. The power of God is touching. First four rows inside. Lord, thank you. Let, let that person be touched now. Now, first four rows inside. God is bringing deliverance. Where is Ezekiel? Who is Ibo? You are the Ibo. Come. Where are you from? Huh? Okay. Anambra State. I want to pray for you. You believe that the Lord is going to. I see a lot of witchcraft in your family. And the Lord wants to set you free. Please, those of you outside, I don't, don't think because you are outside.
came out to show you that God is serious about your case. Don't think because you are standing, it means you are missing. Look, wherever you are, God can locate you. Are we together now? Salome, Salome, who is Salome? Someone outside here, Salome. I'm standing close to you. Salome, come stand here. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I set your family free right now. In the name of Jesus, hold on. It's two guys, lift your hands. Two of you. An anointing is coming on two of you now. Lift your hands. These two gentlemen pray. Father, let them take of that anointing now. Drink of that grace. Drink of that fire. Step into a new dimension now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are Salome. In the name of Jesus. Zonkua. Who is from Zonkua here? Zonkua or something. I'm hearing the Lord is asking me. We have a lot to do. We are going to be very fast because we'll soon pray for the sick now. Zonkua. Hallelujah. Please don't, don't make this place rowdy. Where are you from? Hold on. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Are you sisters? You are sisters. There is a spirit of death in your family. Come. What, why are you crying? It's well. Things are not going. Everything is scattered. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Two of you. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. One to go. That's the end of it. Lord, I set them free. Help them under the anointing. Please, there is somebody. The spirit of the Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what God is people outside. There is somebody around here. Want to prophesy to the person. Bring the person. That's the person. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm seeing a snake. God. My God. I'm seeing a, not, not this person. I'm seeing a snake. And the Lord is saying, even the lawful captives. That's what the Spirit of God is ministering to me. Please lift your hands, those of you here. Someone has got to be free. I'm Lord, that person right now. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let the hand of God come upon that person right now. That person has to be free. Has to. Has to be free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Here it is. It's coming now. I see like light coming on someone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I set you free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I set you free. I'm ministering to people. Kauna. Is there a name like that? Kauna. Is it Kauna or Kauna? Please move to me fast. Kauna. Who is that? I'm, I'm going to this overflow now. Kauna. Is there someone like that? Please, I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I receive the breakthrough you are bringing. Lift your voice and begin to speak it. I receive it. I receive it. Oh, God, come. What do you do? Huh? Where? Do you do business? Why? I want to pray for you because I'm seeing God empowering you in business. Do you have an elder sister? I've seen a lady. This is a lady looking just like you. I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. I took out time because of the massive deliverance that will happen here now. This very room. I'm walking here. Please hear me. There are mothers who what is going to happen to your children is going to come from your standing here now. So please release your faith. I want to pray. I want to pray for you. It ends. It's over now. In the name of Jesus. It's over by the power of the Holy Spirit. I will walk it to the front and then I will come down. Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to start from the front there. Please just allow me to do my thing. Let's just do it very fast because we are going to pray for the sick. All these people lying shortly. I'm going to ask all of you to stand up. There anybody on a wheelchair or on a you Stand up right now. When I ask you to stand up, you will stand up and took away whatever you came with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on. Um, my God. 
I'm going to pass and there is nothing special about me. It's just a communication, a channel for the Lord to touch you. Come. Um, the man. What is it you are holding? The Lord is saying, what are you looking for? You are looking for a job. Huh? And the Lord is saying, I should release a job to your life. You believe that? Receive your job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. Father, I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will blow upon this place. As I pass this place, let no yoke, let no chain stand. In the name of Jesus. Them now. In the name of Jesus, I bring you life by the power of the Spirit. The life of the life of God by the power of the Spirit. Lease life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every darkness, leaves, every trace of darkness leaves, 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 leaves now, leaves now, 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 leaves now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every trace of darkness must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. It must go now. It must go now. Someone with pile is being healed now. Somewhere here. Someone with pile is being healed now. Someone with pile, you're going to feel like fire going through your body. We'll pray for the sick shortly. Be healed now. Fire is on your head. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a yoke of delay here. This row. Somebody, somebody has to be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's to a new level. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is renewing, renewing, renewing. I hear renewal. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing in this row because the angel of the Lord is standing here. And he wants to touch somebody right now. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. Let it be over by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, shate se kotas kalapratia, embreketeke. Please help them, my God. Shembra katos koto pradisha la pariata kata. Ekros kete bo shabre neke tala. Le kreto se kras kada barata pash. Embreketia, my sister. You are praying, and I'm hearing your prayer. Come, you are telling the Lord to visit you. I'm hearing your prayers in my ears, and the Lord is saying I should. That he should give you a visitation. Who is this? My children. This is your husband? Yes, sir. Where is he? He's in Berlin. I want to pray for you. I don't like what I see. Right? The Lord is going to set them free because I've seen everything is tied down for this family. Nothing is working. Yes, sir. Is that true? The Lord is going to step in now. At those states. Edo State. I'm from Edo State. What the Spirit of God is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm pray for you. Please. Father, let there be a miracle right now. I end it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I end it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Now, see this thing the Lord shows me all the time. Please, everybody lift your hands inside or outside. Lift your hands now. I'm seeing a map. I don't know why God always shows me this. I'm seeing a map and the spirit of the Lord through that map is taking me to Benway State. Now everyone from Benway State, get ready. The anointing of God comes upon you now. Benway State. Benway State. The Lord is setting people free. Benway State right now. Shekratos, Kalatos. Inside and outside. Benway State. Benway State. Inside, outside. Benway State. I see breakthroughs coming. Benway State, anointings, Mata Lakota, is a sign and a wonder that the Lord does, where He locates people by states, locates people by states. I'm praying now. If you're in Benway State, this unction is on you. The work is on you inside. My God, I'm seeing people inside, inside the main auditorium. Breakthroughs, breakthroughs, breakthroughs. I'm hearing Otuko, Otuko, 
breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs, or to go Jakato Sekete, Egreto Shalabariata, Embrakato Jataya Lakosata. Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. There are breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jacob. Jacob. Jacob, you're, I'm standing close to you and your name is Jacob. Lift your hands. It's over now. Forever. Over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the, there's somebody praying in this room. The power of God is coming on him now. Someone is praying a prayer. In the name of Jesus, you are stepping into a level. The spirit of wisdom is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is it Asabe? Asabe, I'm hearing the name Asabe. Quickly, I want to see how God will grant us grace. This evening, there are so many sick people we have to pray for. Asabe, is it Asabe? I'm hearing Asabe. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me, my dear. Look at my eyes. My eyes. Look at my eyes. Break every chain. Break every chain. Visit her family, oh God, once and for all. Let this be the season. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is from Enugu State? Enugu State. Hold on, hold on. Please don't fight yourselves. Madam, where are you from? I'm from Eni. Enugu State. I'm going to pray for you. Choma. What? Choma. 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 I'm hearing a name Choma. We're going to pray. Choma. You are inside. The Choma I'm talking about at the main auditorium. Choma, where are you? Give Jesus praise. I'm going to pray for you. Your name is Choma. What's your name? Choma. Your name is Choma. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is set family free right now because this is one of your prayer requests. I'm looking at your prayer request in a vision. What did you say the Lord should? I'm seeing your prayer request on top of you and I'm seeing that you are writing that God should bring breakthrough for your family. He will. He will. He will. We're talking about the spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. My brother, stand up. Look at me. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You love Jesus? I'm seeing your legs tied and I'm seeing snake of your legs down to your head. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is where this will start from. Be free now. Out! In the name of Jesus, help him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where did you come from, my dear? You are from Isuka. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. Let it be over now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let it be over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing that map again. The Lord shows me Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna now. The power of God is looking to Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna inside and outside. You're from Southern Kaduna. I'm seeing the map of Kaduna State. And the Lord is touching people from that state right now. There are several people inside, ushers, different people. The Lord is touching people, Southern Kaduna. Miracles, miracles. I'm seeing like a, a, the cover, the cover of a well being opened. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the Spirit of the Living God. By the Spirit of the Living God. By the Spirit of the Living God. Let it end now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it end. Captivity must end. In the name of Jesus Christ, captivity must end now. Captivity must end. Captivity must end. Shada sete karotash. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing Italy, Italy, a country, Italy, who has a relative in Italy. You come. There is power. Please quickly. Who do you have in Italy? My other sister. Where is she? She's in Italy. Have you heard from her? No, it has been long. There's, there's a problem. I'm seeing that lady is in a serious problem. She needs a miracle. Did we discuss this with you? Yes, yeah, she discussed it with my mom. I'm saying, did I discuss it with you? No, sir. She's in Italy. There is a serious problem. Huh? I'm seeing deportation. We have to pray for her. There is a serious issue. Not only deportation, but she's about to get into trouble. The Lord brings this thing so that he will set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what I was waiting for. In Jesus name. There's somebody in front. Among the people lying down there. Um, I'm seeing the Lord touching their family. Lord in the name of Jesus. Let there be a miracle. Those of you coming for the first time. This is what happens in the miracle service. Is, is, these are not just miracles. They are called signs and wonders. They are operations of the spirit. You can see me call a state and everybody on that, that state is under the influence of the spirit it's not so magic these are operations these are superior dimensions of the operation of the spirit of the living god i want to pray for the lady in italy in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle right now a miracle right now something is leaving you even you who is standing this has caused delay in your life the lord is about to give you speed in the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural speed. The Lord ends captivity in your life. Let it end now. Captivity is ending by the Spirit and the power of God. Captivity is ending. Hallelujah. There is somebody inside here. I'm seeing a vision. You are a, you are a professional footballer. Come out. Something has tied you down. It's time for you to move up. Who is that? You are a footballer. That's why you came here. Who is that? Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Lord Jesus, we honor you. Leave her. I want to pray for her. Something is happening. That's why I'm standing. Look at me. Lord Jesus, let this oppression over her family end. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same thing happening to her is happening to someone right at the back. In the name of Jesus. You play football? Oh, this is your brother. From where? Somebody cheated you. We have to pray for you. Huh? Where do you want to travel to? I want to go to Europe. Huh? Europe. But you know that God has to take you to a clean way. Huh? If you want to smuggle your way and go to Europe. The devil will go and hijack your life and destroy you and they will throw you back. Do you understand? Because I see God lifting you in this career. The Lord is taking you very, very far. You believe that? Hold my hands. Lord Jesus, I bring him into this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be for you. You see, prophecy does not just reveal. Prophecy creates. We make things that have no business happening to happen. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the road is clear for you now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Seven months pregnant. There's a woman I need to pray for. Seven months pregnant. Seven months pregnant. Come. You are pregnant. How many months? Seven months. The Lord is telling me to take away CS. Hold my hands, Jesus. When are you due? Next month, September. You are due September. 
When? Do you know? You don't know. Anything from September 19th, get ready. Huh? In the name of Jesus, I hold you and I declare, I stop CS now by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a problem with this baby, as I'm seeing. Is that true? Yes. I told you. Yes. This baby is not lying correctly and it's affecting you. If we don't pray, something will happen and you give birth to a dead baby. We correct it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. I bring the life of Christ to you. In the name of Jesus, you will give birth normally by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for the sick now, but uh, who is this? You are pregnant. How many months? Seven months. Yes, sir. Have you gone to the hospital? Where is your husband? He's at home, sir. Husbands, husbands. They send their wives and stay back at home. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Put your hand on your stomach. God is going to give you a dream about the name of this child. Receive grace to name the child exactly what you see. Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We'll soon pray for the sick, but I want to do something. Look at me. This lady. Out of her now. I release the life of Jesus Christ and I curse the works of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 I'm seeing fire. It's like it's looking for someone in this room. This is something that has to do with someone's family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just this room. Because I'm seeing the Lord is revealing to me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Father. The power of God will come upon whoever that person is. And that will end it right now end it right now family God is touching the families in the name of Jesus it is not by power it's not by might it's by the Spirit of God it's not by power in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me someone's prayer request prayer point number one let my sister have a child who is that prayer point number one you are wearing red Break every chain. Break every chain. I hope you are not telling lies. What was your first prayer request? Let my sister and my brother have a baby. Where are they? They are in their various places. Your sister, how long has she been married? Going to three years. Did she have a child before? No, but my brother has. Did she take in before? No. This person is wearing red. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing somebody wearing red. This is the person in the vision the Lord is showing me. Who is that? This is the person I saw, but I will pray with you. Listen, I want you to believe that no barren person, there is no need to go back without a child. It's, it's, there is not necessary. Hold on, I'm not just praying for barren people at random, but just let them come since they're here. We'll pray for people. We're about to pray for people now. We'll take our time to minister. The anointing is there. You see that even the vigils, sometimes you close your eyes and it's already morning. Praise the Lord. My friend, you love Jesus? Kai, please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. I'm seeing you standing and I want to pray. I know I always pray, but this guy smokes, uh, um, what they call that thing. But I know people smoke all kinds of things, but this guy, your own is acute. You are here, but truthfully speaking, you cannot help. You can take as much of that thing till it destroys you. I'm even seeing that you have some. I don't know whether it's at home. Please, who is that? Don't be embarrassed. The Lord wants to set you free. If you sit down, that's your, that's, that's for you. Whether you are inside, outside, make your way. Don't be ashamed. Just come out here. I want to pray for you now. 
My dear, I want you to call. Where are they? Who, who are you standing in for? Ladi Abuti. Huh? Ladi Abuti. You? No, You're the, my sister. Your sister. Okay, I want to pray. The person I'm talking about, please summon the courage to stand here. I want to pray for you. I want you to call her after this meeting and tell her to get ready. God is going to give her a baby boy. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you because your power is available to set the captives free. I decree and declare. Let it be right now. Establish it in Jesus' name. It's over now. You are the one who came. Come. We have to pray. Your brother, you said they are barren. I'm not seeing your brother barren. He has two children. How many two children? Hold on, let me talk to you. How many children? The first one was a miscarriage. Miscarriage? How many children are there now? The second one died like two weeks after. I'm seeing two children that is not a miscarriage. They were born, but they died. Two, two children. Now it's, there's no child at all. The one they had died like weeks or so. How many weeks? Two weeks, two weeks after birth. One and one day. And he just died. We have to pray. You understand? You, you're standing in for them and you believe God will help them. We have to pray. As you're praying for them, it will never be part of your life. You have no business with that thing. Somebody needs to come out. This wee wee thing. Who is the person? Let's celebrate him. Don't, don't feel bad. Hallelujah. He's your friend. He's your brother. He smokes this thing. He smokes. Uh, huh? Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I have to pray for him. My friend, how are you? Can you hear me? I uh, can hear you. I have to pray for him. You see, the same thing, the anointing, when you smoke this thing and when you are under the influence of the anointing it's exactly what happens when you smoke these leaves you see those leaves there is a lady come and join him i'm seeing a lady don't be embarrassed please jesus is setting you free there is a lady you can't help yourself this is not the issue of being good or bad please run boldly and come if you waste our time you just sit where you are one lady there is a lady this thing has destroyed it's not like you like it but you can't help it it comes upon you like an anointing and you have to come my dear let's pray we have to pray for the sick now in the name of jesus christ i agree with you i terminate the yoke of barrenness right now sister and brother in the name of jesus they take in now you're here for the same reason you're here for the same reason in the name of Jesus. you're standing for yourself your sister if i ask for people who have who want children except you are standing for somebody if you are standing for yourself make sure you are you have a husband or a wife praise God we, we are Bible believers but we are not stupid people make sure you are married officially because I know that there are people who just live together um, you don't you don't love God and then we have to stay of course God is merciful the Spirit of God is not letting me rest over the lady that we are going to pray for. In the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. We are a family. Nobody looks down and embarrasses. There's no condemnation here whatsoever. We are here to help. We are here to show you the message of God. Hold my hands, my dear. This is a lady? Ah, no, this is not how. The person I'm talking about is here in this venue. You are here. You are not asleep. You are awake. You are hearing what I'm saying. This lady is, you understand? Barrenness. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch them. In the name of Jesus, touch them. Hold on, don't worry. Uh, we are going to pray for the sick. Who is this? Why are you here, madam? Please just be patient. Why is she here? If it's not the case I mentioned, um, can I pray for you, my friend? You are the one who brought him. Where is he from? He's, he's from, staring he's at from me. Benway State, sir. Eh? He's from Benway State. From bed, you see how the guy is staring at me. If he has his way, he can eat and swallow me as if it's easy. Between you and me, it's a long distance. It's not what you are saying. <laughs> he 
it's a very long distance. Stretch your hands and let's pray for this guy. He's a nice person. This, this is what we, we and Co can do. Let's pray. Let's pray. My friend, don't worry. We are praying for you. Eh? It's not just you. Stretch your hands, saints of God. You are anointed. Let's pray for him. Lord, help this gentleman. Please, I still insist, this lady, if God grants you grace, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. We love you. And in the name of Jesus, we pray for you sincerely. By the compassion of the Christ, we pray for you that the power of this, this substance abuse is broken in your life. In the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. 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 I have to talk to that person quickly and then we'll pray for the sick. You can't imagine how the time is gone. We're still going to anoint. It's already morning. Rebecca. Is there anyone? Huh? My sister. Your sister. I'll pray for you, but what's your name? What's your name? Rebecca. My dear, come. Who is this? Rebecca. The lady that smokes this thing. This thing has depressed this lady and changed her. That's why I want to pray for you. What's your name? Rukaya. 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 Come. I love you. Where? Eh? Come. You're a darling. We're not, we're not here to make you feel bad at all. Listen. Let me tell you something. Huh? One of the keys to walking in the anointing is love. You don't love people, you will never walk in authentic power. When God reveals to you things about people's lives, it's not because you are better than them. Are we together now? The goal of this revelation is to extend the hand of God's love. This is a wonderful lady. You can see very lovely, beautiful lady that the devil wants to destroy. So every time words come like this or when we pray for people, this is a family of faith where everybody is a product of God's mercy and grace. Are we together, darling? I, I know that you may not like some of them. It may not even be bad friends. They just got into all of these things. And let me tell you, maturity does not deliver people from spirits. You can be growing older and still remain. You believe the Lord Jesus will help you? Hmm? Thank you. You've tried to stop this thing, Abby? Yes. And you'll try and it won't work? Yes. Problems keep coming up that I just can't stop. What do you take? I smoke, I take drugs, I drink. You drink? Yes. Please stretch your hands over this lady. Pray as if you are praying for your own daughter. Pray as if you are praying for your own child. Lord, have mercy on this dear lady. We refuse to leave her to the devil. We love her. Pray, some of you are looking at me. Pray with all your heart. Lord, help this lady. Usually people take these things as a result of depression, all kinds of challenges, their lack of understanding the word of God, their lack of encounter with the word of God is what produces this kind of devilish effect. Hallelujah. Look at me, my dear. You are my friend, eh? Don't cry. You are my friend from today. God will help you, eh? Say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, eh? Pastor Alpha, please, eh? You will follow up this lady. Just help her to stand strong. Some of these ladies, it's just a combination of loneliness and then they meet all kinds of bad people. By the way, when, when it's time to do the final prayer, we're going to pray against these bad people around our community whose lives is to frustrate and destroy people. There are many ladies here you want to love God and, and live for Him. But there are all these boys around that make it look like serving God is a waste of time. And they keep distracting you and before you know it, in the name of love, in the name of relationship, and, and in the name of wanting to marry you, they derail you from the path of God. Anybody who must make you leave God to marry you is not an irresponsible person. That prayer has already been answered. The answer is no. Leave the person quickly. Don't say I'm waiting on God. God is not a fool. 
Are we together? So go and meet Pastor Alpha. He will help you. Eh? He will collect your details and your Rebecca, all of you, three of you. I cannot even remember why I asked you to come out, but let me pray for you. You are standing in for your sister. You love Jesus. Friends, eh? You love Jesus, but be careful so that um, you know your company matters as much as your work with God. The Lord will help you. Huh? In Jesus' name. Over now in your life. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is setting her free. I'm seeing something leaving her. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let her be free from it. That devil of darkness lets you go. Rebecca, the Lord is bringing you liberty in the name of Jesus. It's over now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I have to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, this favor is lifted from your life forever. In Jesus' name. Two of you are Rebecca. Your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Now, what's that song? Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yana. Gashina, Gashina, Gamuna. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray on this now. You can imagine it's to five. Stretch your hands here. Let's pray. God is a miracle worker. The testimonies here is a revelation that God gave us and an instruction and my God what a joy to life stretch your hands in the name of Jesus Christ Jabratos Jabratos stretch your hands in the name of Jesus Mandala Kapratos Katavridish Kalabraniakata unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come are you praying? Father, we agree. We agree for miracles. We agree for signs. We agree for wonders. Mante kalas kotambria tatosis yata katalo karusia. Bredo go shobradis kalabrata kataparadash. Le kataprando susibriata. E kata. Jabrata shebregadibos. Pray. We receive miracles, we receive signs, we receive wonders. In the name of Jesus, Lord, release miracles to families, release signs, wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ, let impossible situations come under the influence of your spirit. Shapraka para koto sobre gedia. Rabadaga da balada koso sobre a da balada bosh. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we decree and declare. Agree with me, right now. Let every impossible situation turn into a miracle right now. Jekoto so pakuta priyakata kaso de gedia. Lord. This is a representation of the cries and the desires of your people scattered around this place and many across the nations of the world. Lord, we agree that you are a miracle worker and we decree and declare that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and pray against the spirit of death upon this man. Because I'm seeing the spirit of death. I'm seeing the spirit of death. We challenge this spirit, oh God. We challenge this spirit, oh God. Go! You will not die. 
I curse the spirit of death. I curse the spirit of death. I minister life to you. Life. 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 I'm praying for you. I command breakthrough into your life, madam. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that has died in your life, I command you to come alive right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me another woman. I'm seeing you are from Benway State. Benway State. I'm seeing a woman from Benway. 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 Please, if there's someone like that, let's just. Hallelujah. Benway State. There's someone here. You came to stand for someone with breast cancer. Cancer is cancer of the breast. Who is that? You came to stand in for someone. You're the other one. You're the other one. Yes, sir. My cousin's. Your cousin. Yes. Breast cancer. Yes, sir. Because this thing has gone serious. Yes, sir. And it's only the power of God. Yes. Sir. Otherwise, they are going to cut off the breast. Yes, sir. That's what the doctors have said. Yes, but sir. tonight there is a name that is above every other name. Yes, there is a name. There is a name. There is a name. Hold my hands. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We curse that spirit right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing you wearing an atlas shoes. God is bringing advancement and speed into your life. I'm seeing you wearing the shoes of an athlete. Because you are going to run. God is going to visit you in a very mighty way. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Breast cancer. Father, let there be perfection. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her come. Let her come. I know. It's not even her want to talk about it. Your mother. Where is your mother? My mother. She's at home. She's at home. God is going to visit your mother in a very mighty way. Amen. God is, I'm seeing increase coming. It looks like a promotion or something is coming for your mom. And I'm seeing God visiting your family's finance in a very mighty way Amen. i'm seeing a ring in your hand are you married you are married yeah. where's your husband he's he's seated there please come husband I, i'm not sure i know you come because god wants to speak a word to the family sir the lord god of israel is going to visit your family in the next three months amen you will see dramatic things amen there are things that i may not say in, in the open now but i see a miracle coming i see a miracle coming amen. um how long have you been married sir Please. i'm hearing a cry of a baby amen. and it's a baby girl amen. it's a baby girl a baby girl this will happen by the spirit of god this will happen by the grace of god Amen. please lay your hands on your stomach thank you jesus christ i curse everything that is not of god in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing you buying a new car i'm seeing you buying a new car god is showing me you are buying a new car it's a Toyota car. It's a Toyota car. You will see God do it by the hand of God. And God is also bringing you. Um, I'm seeing God bringing men to help you, even financially. Because this is one of the things that you really desire. Amen. God is bringing men to help you financially. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, let Amen. this be so. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, before I pray for the sick, did I pray for her? From Benway State. Mama, come. Do you have a daughter, ma? Yes. This is the daughter. I need to pray for you. 
Just leave your mother and hold my hands. We need to pray for you so that you will not have a child before marriage. Huh? We need to pray for you. There is a spirit in the family and we have to pray because even you as you are like this, it's not like you don't love God but you need to settle down. Otherwise, men, men cause a lot of problems. And it's not like you're a bad girl. It's a spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I set her free from every yoke of darkness. Let her go now. Go! Mama, may God bless you. I open a new chapter for your life. And I declare in the name of Jesus that everything that has cost you pain, my God is visiting you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. As we sing that song, there's power in the name of Jesus. All the people that came here for healing, please just come and arrange yourself. Everybody keep praying in tongues and say, Father, visit me. God is visiting people inside and outside. Please be orderly. Let's do it very fast. There's power in the name of Jesus. There is power. If you came with anybody's picture, you can also hold it. There is power. It's called a miracle service. It's not just a name. It's an experience to break every chain of darkness. No matter if there's no space, just now, as we pray for others, then they will give way. Sing it one more time. There is power. Listen, he that cometh unto God must believe there is more than enough power to address any situation. I don't care what it is, and I don't care how long it has been. Hallelujah. I'm going to lay my hands upon you and pray. Listen, some of you are coming in for sickness. But what is the, the root cause of all of this is, is that is the same root cause that is affecting finance, affecting marriage. God is not just going to heal you. Hallelujah. God is going to address the root cause. Hallelujah. So as I pray for you, I want you to march down to your seat. Whatever you could not do, make sure you begin to do it. Hallelujah. I already sense the fire of the Holy Ghost upon my hands. Very strong. And all of us who are standing, God is touching people inside and outside. Be focused. Don't be distracted. By the way, if you have not written your prayer request, now is the opportunity to take advantage of it. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Let there be such a move of the healing power of Jesus that as these hands are laid, stretch forth your right hand, O oh God, and let your people be healed in the name of Jesus.
at this woman crying. Hold on. Hold on, please. Who brought this woman? I brought myself. Jesus brought me here. But the, the evil spirit has been attacking me. Something has been moving over my body. It's okay, please don't cry. Uh, about 30 years now. Tonight is your night of liberty. I hear the chains falling. Jesus. I cast this spirit out. Out. I command that devil of death. Leave this body now. By the power that is in the blood of Jesus. I hear the chains falling down. In your, there was pain in your leg, but now is there? Pain? It has. Do it has, check yourself. It has, it has, and it's like your stomach used to feel strong, and and then you feel something moving like a snake. Check it now. Check it now. Squeeze yourself. Father, Jesus, Father, thank you. There's nothing. I'm not feeling anything. Everything has gone. This was a spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are here. Come on, celebrate yeah. Jesus, people.
blood of Jesus. Because God told me to ask you, whatever it is, just believe that as I'm praying for you, it's going. Are you getting my point? So move forward. Some of you, if, if we keep asking one by one, it doesn't matter what it is. 
Hallelujah. Go ahead, watch it. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord. Five years of ulcer, you'll be healed, right? And discharging. Don't worry. God will set you free. That devil is a liar in the name of Jesus.
miracles everywhere Miracles everywhere And right now, right now Miracles everywhere Jesus Christ. Please make sure you are praying. Don't think God is just touching the people here. There is something the atmosphere is doing. Let's just finish the prayer for this.
God is a glorious God. God is a miracle worker. God is a glorious God. God is, God is, he is a miracle worker. lion in the spirit this guy has a wild spirit when he's angry he can kill and it's not his fault this is this is an ancestral thing see how many people trying to hold one person this is how it will tie his destiny this is how he will get married to a very innocent lady and be manifesting things that he doesn't know i set you free right now this is a place of liberty leave him leave him he's free
Setting families free right now from marital delay. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. All those affected, as you count three, the fire of God will sweep across this place. There are marital destinies that have been tied down. Some of you, you are standing, but you are representing your family in the name that is above all names. Right now, anyone tied under any manifestation spirit husband spirit wife every manifestation of darkness as you shout the name jesus right now i command those doors to be open one two three free i set you free now right now right now right now be free I open up doors of marriages inside and outside. Be free. Be free. Every spell, every curse stopping your marital destiny. Hallelujah. Mommy, please can I talk to you? Your time of visitation has come because the Lord is saying He's going to wipe your tears and He's going to do this speedily. It's by the hand of the Lord. It's where is your husband, man? Do you know why I'm asking you this? Because your situation is like in a similitude of that of Sarah, but God is going to wipe your tears. Please believe me. When I pray for you, I'm praying for marital delays. And then I'm looking at you. And the Lord is saying that this woman does not even have a husband. At the point I even say, ah, what is this? Is that true? And I'm asking myself, but I'll pray for you. You, you trust God to settle down? I'll pray for you. Yes, it will happen. It will happen. Anyone here due for marriage, listen anyone here be it yourself or any member of your family that is long overdue for marriage right now i prophesy in the name that is above all names let those doors be open now 
May those doors be open now. Something is happening in this place. May those doors be open now. May those doors be open now. Madam, you will stand before the people of God when your wedding card is out. If there is a God in heaven, I break that curse right now. Now! And I release your marital destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is the Lord God Almighty? Is the Lord God Almighty? The earth is full of His glory. My life is full of Your glory. And the people say, Holy. Oh, oh, oh. And the people say, oh, Hallelujah. All of you lift your hands. God is going to do something amazing here right now. Listen. Everyone is standing for himself now, not for family. Please lift your hands. Listen. I'm seeing powers that have tied down the advancement of people. Listen to me. Because the Lord is ministering to me and I'm seeing someone standing with a sword. And this is a sword of judgment. This one is not for families again. There are many of us, you are walking, but you are standing because nothing is moving. Right now, in the name of Jesus, many of you will literally feel the fire of God come upon you like a baptism is burning chaffs, burning chains. Some of you, your academics are the way they are right now because of powers. Neke paratika. Come on now. Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, chains be broken, be broken. Be broken. Chains be broken. Baptisms are happening. Baptisms of fire. Personal deliverances of fire. 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 The fire of the Holy Ghost. It's time for you to move forward. Fresh fire to move forward. Fresh fire. No stagnation. Fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. We are still going to do this again. Listen, I'm telling you, this is the root problem of many of the our predicaments. There are there are forces. Please follow me. This is the part you get to participate. Lift your hands again. Lord, what is it that has tied your people down? They have prayed for others. They have ministered to others. But right now, like a volcano, let the fire of God sweep across this place. Right now. Let it burn the roots. Let it burn the roots. Set the roots on fire. Set the roots on fire. Let your people make progress. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let's enter the realm of your academics now. There are horns. Tied people's CGPA. Tied people's minds. But he said, I have sent carpenters. Lift your hands. It's not everyone that is dull. There are people who are studying. You are doing your best. Right now, all of those ones, your hands, 
fire is coming on your hands trust your hands there will be a mighty deliverance right now one two three fire on your hands on your hands fire academic liberty fire on your hands we break those chains we break those chains we break those chains come on join me as you pray join me as you pray academic chains be broken Hallelujah. There are some of us, listen, God is setting people free tonight. One cycle of tragedy. As soon as he's finishing, another one is starting. It, it never comes to a point where your family can experience peace. The Bible says, and he dug a well, and they came and closed it. He dug another one, and they closed it. And he dug the third one, and they left it, and they said, Reho both. The Lord has given me room. I'm praying right now. Please pay attention to what I'm doing. This is the root cause. Believe me. You will be wasting your time for nothing if you don't confront these powers you can receive temporary breakthrough but you will get back into the same situation hallelujah in fact we are going to pray just for one minute hallelujah you are going to pray i like you to pray like a priest in the next one to two minutes listen I like you to tell the Lord that whatever is the root cause, you are not concerned about the fruits and the leaves. It may be headache, leave that one. Lord, what is the root cause of my stagnation? What is the root cause of my family's problem? In the name of Jesus, let it be confronted tonight. Lift your voice and pray. I pray. Ropoko poto pata. We attack the root causes of sicknesses. The root causes. Pray. Pray for your business. Pray for your ministry. Pray for your academics. Visit me tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. But there are many of us here. The troubles in our lives are as a result of the mistakes and the wickedness for some of us of our parents and loved ones. He said, who's seen that this man is in this situation? Is it him or his father? Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Please lift your hands. God is setting men free tonight. Anyone here going through circles of tragedy as a result of covenant and parental influence, as you shout the name Jesus after the count of three, may the fire of God separate you from the mistakes of your lineage. In the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Be separated, be separated, be separated now, be separated, 
I break limitations. Ancestral spirits, tribal spirits, territorial spirits. Right now, be free. Every name that is in any demonic cover, we set it on fire now. We set it on fire now. Jesus died to set us free. Jesus truly died to set us free. It wasn't a joke. He said, but we do not see all things under his feet. Lift your hands again. Lift your hands again. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. I am ready to make progress. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to break barriers. And tonight, by the blood of Jesus, I confront and challenge the root causes of my limitation. Lift your voice and begin to pray. We challenge it. We challenge powers that have limited men. There must be a release tonight. Jacob wrestled with God. Pray. 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 It's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to break limits. Break limits. I tell you, God is there are there are massive, there is an emancipation. Lift your hands again. Say after me in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus speaks for me. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is the price for my freedom listen keep the hands lifted just keep them lifted all instruments just stop just lift your hands and keep them lifted there is a reason why I'm saying you should keep them lifted hallelujah the spirit of God is going to walk through the crowd listen just keep them lifted something marvelous will happen right now I'm seeing water that God is pouring on people right now let the power of god move everywhere inside and outside this water that i see an angel pouring is a cleansing is a purging of many people's foundations just keep your hands lifted you may not understand what is going on but just lift your hands if you trust that god is in this place let the angels move right now row to row line to line visit men oh god visit men Visit men. Catelato. Row to row. Water. There are three that bear witness in heaven. The spirit, the water, the blood. I invoke the power of these three spiritual entities. Right now. The mystery of the spirit, the water, and the blood. I tell you, see, many of you will, will walk into levels of breakthrough that will surprise you. Keep it lifted. Just keep it lifted. Keep it lifted. You don't know what is happening in the spirit. Just keep it lifted. Jesus. Shikaparia. Neketa. Mandeporiata. I see covens on fire. I'm telling you, covens of darkness on fire. 
Siteke pa 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 pa. This is not just your family. This is your life now. You prayed for your family, but you need to move forward. Otherwise, men will think you are faking this thing. A chain is falling from someone's head. A chain is falling from someone's head. A chain is falling from someone's head. I see this in the spirit. A chain is falling. This is mental bondage. A chain is falling. I'm hearing sounds of chains. Hallelujah. 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 Now, before we submit the prayer request, lift your hands. You are going to mention one thing, just one, that you want God to do, that everyone will know that this one, I prayed it here and God did it. Are you getting my point now? I'm just walking based on the instructions of the Spirit. He wants to give you a sign of his presence in your life i know you wrote many things brothers and sisters in the next one minute cry out one thing one just one don't be foolish pray pray i'm ministering by the influence of the spirit pray no matter how impossible it is pray unto you that answers prayers will all flesh come unto you that answers prayers what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that you have received it believe that you have received it there is nothing hard for my god pray it hallelujah hallelujah everyone let's pray in tongues for one minute as we collect the prayer request Please go ahead. God is just leading us to pray and He's doing many things in the background. Please, quickly, in one minute, let's submit the prayer request. Pass it to the last person. Pass it to the last person. Ushers, please cooperate with us and let's hurry up. Pray. Pray. Listen, listen, keep passing the request, but listen to me. I made a vow to God. I just returned from my retreat. And one of the vows that I made to God is that I don't care what people would think about me. But if I ever have the opportunity to minister to God's people, I'd rather have an ugly message and let people get results. Are you getting what I'm saying? part of my my prayer and i i took out time to cry i said lord your people must see your hand it says oh lord you are my god early will i seek you my heart longs after you to see your power and your glory as i have seen in the sanctuary that means what i have seen in the sanctuary I am also a sanctuary. Reproduce the result in my life. Hallelujah. So this program is aimed at bringing everyone into a place of personal spiritual success. And let me tell you, I know that it's not a very nice message. I wish that I didn't have to pray to confront spirits and powers that stop people. 
I like to preach a nice message that will just tell you that don't worry if you believe everything is has, has gone it has gone I wish I just wish it were like that but brothers and sisters I can tell you it is not it is not you will believe that lie to your detriment it is not we live in a rude world and there are forces otherwise the anointing of the spirit is useless what then is the purpose of the anointing what then is the efficacy of the blood why then does Paul tell us to put on hallelujah I want your life to experience breakthroughs see otherwise we have no right to tell people we are not faking it are you getting my point if there is no breakthrough in your life then what then is the confidence of the message that people keep saying God is and one I believe that one result can silence a lot of questions I'm not that believer that likes just no there must be an evidence in your life. I don't know how many times I saw this. When I kept praying, the Lord kept talking to me and said, the root cause, deal with the root cause of people's lives. Root cause. I'm telling you, it's not just healing alone. That's why you notice I prayed for the sick very quickly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We are going to pray one prayer point before we have all the prayer requests here. Inside and outside. Make sure you are participating. Hallelujah. I'd like you to pray and challenge every limitation, whether mental, whether spiritual anything that limits you is not of God lift up your voice and confront it I break limitations if there are no limitations you will make progress if there are no limitations you will make progress please everyone pray take this seriously even if you are walking be praying as you're walking Lord, I challenge limitations. Let there be no limits in my life. Let there be no limits in my life. Let there be no boundaries. As far as your eyes can see. As far as your eyes can see. Ushers, please, let's hurry up. Ushers, please, let's hurry up. So potoko pata da 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 da. So prete ke lepo do subandi le kabaria. So prete ke lepo koto ba 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 ba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. I'm going to be laying hands on these requests. Hallelujah. Pair yourselves into two. Find a man or a woman of prayer. We are challenging limitations. That word limitation. Media project it. That word limitation. Write it. That's the word we are attacking this night. Ye have tarried in this mountain for too long. He said, turn ye not words. Hallelujah. Hold on before you pray. While I lay my hands here. Hallelujah. Hold the hands of the person you are going to pray. If there is nobody, you can join and make two or three. Say in the name of Jesus. One more time. Say in the name of Jesus. I come as an ambassador of the kingdom. And I challenge every limitation in every area of my life I command it to bow down 
the Bible says Naaman hear me second Kings 5 Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army he said he was a mighty man but tonight we are going to confront the bots in our lives you are academically excellent but there are limitations I don't know if there are limitations in someone's life that you are saying Lord in this miracle service this is it hallelujah while I pray in the next two to three minutes instrumentalists play clash the cymbal and everyone pray hold the hands of your neighbor if he's joking leave him and hold another person is confronting limitations many of you don't know what limitations are you poverty is a limitation are you getting my point spiritual bankruptcy is a limitation a prayerless life is a capital limitation 
a wordless life is a limitation when you are supposed to get married and you've not gotten married it's a limitation academic backwardness see there are very few people who are here for for sicknesses and all is is limitation that's the name of what you are going through hallelujah before i prophesy we'll soon have the last session and then we're, we're done we're still going to pray don't be tired i beg you just follow through with me if you believe that i hear god and if you believe we are walking by the spirit i like you to pray hallelujah limitations i know a brother listen listen i know a brother that for many years this gentleman was so gifted but i'm telling you nothing was working in his life please hear me this is a true story very gifted but things were tied down hallelujah he did everything did everything that that he knew to do but when god made him know that these things are limitations he took a quality time of his life challenging it and brothers and sisters when he prevailed doors were open it was as if the blessings have left heaven but to now come to this realm and daniel remained in prayer please hear me anything that kills your prayer life has stopped you from your breakthrough it's not the issue of i'm called into the ministry of prayer or not forget that nonsense that the devil brings men ought always look 18 1 he spake this parable if you are alive you don't pray because of fear you pray because it's a spiritual transaction it makes things possible in this realm hallelujah we are going to pray one more time and you're going to say lord one more time visit this issue of limitation in my life and my family hallelujah listen listen mention the aspects where you are facing limitation don't feel embarrassed mention them and say lord let your fire come upon it lift your voice and pray Koinonia, pray. Pray your way to breakthrough. Sopata, teka, repoto pakata, sente teke preteke te, superiata daraba. We lift up an incense of prayer. We lift up an incense of prayer. We lift up an incense of prayer. We lift up an incense of prayer change lives break limits financial limits suppose sata intellectual limits marital limits job limits we break it sopotopata we break limitations Business limitation, ministry limitation, limitations of potentials. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Every time limits are broken, the Lord will bring a man to hold your hands and create the opportunity for the next level of your life are you hearing what i'm saying bishop oyedeko will say there are days and there are certain days may this night be the certain day listen your next level is in the hands of a certain man the bible says they wanted to kill joseph but a certain man came and they said they wanted to buy him if not because of that certain man they would have killed him are you following me now the bible talks about a man who was crippled he could not carry himself certain men no names they lifted him and opened the sea oh god whoever is that certain man 
that must appear my destiny I come I compel them to come lift your voice and pray lift your voice destiny help us financial help us spiritual help us men of influence men of access Sopotoposh Rokotoposh Reketetete men that will connect us to our next level men that will connect us to our next dimension please pray 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 Lord we call them forth hallelujah when Jesus died hear me the prophet prophesied that his body will not see corruption but he was hanging on that cross there was no place to bury him and a certain man came called Joseph of Arimathea an influential man if he was poor and broke the king would not hear him the Bible says a poor man's wisdom is despised you are going to pray concerning your finances does it make sense to you to pray we are going to pray and say Lord whoever must appear to change my financial destiny I receive their ministry come on now pray come on now pray time and chance happens to them all time and chance be it a Cyrus or a son of the kingdom pray we embrace their ministry we embrace their ministry So put up photos. I call them forth. Come on, pray. I call them forth. Men of influence, kings, destiny help us, spiritual help us, financial help us, academic help us. Men of influence, men who can talk to kings. Pray. Hallelujah. Please leave your neighbor. Joseph would have died in the prison. Although anointed, there are many people here, your anointing will remain dormant until God sends a man to see it, announce it, and let the world celebrate it. John the Baptist announced Jesus' ministry. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of us, we have great ideas, great businesses, but there needs to be a certain man who will let the world know that great things are happening here. Please hear what I'm saying. There are many of you, your, your academic qualification is bigger than where you are. You have done your best. When you have done all you need to do, you need another man who is not you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Certain men, certain men. It was the wine presser that told the king, He said, I know my wrongs this day. There is a man, oh, there is a man. Many of us have sharpened our spiritual potentials, you have sharpened your leadership potentials. It's not pride, you know that it's time to break forth, but the distance between you. And the next level is that certain man. Lift up your hands. Oh God, where is this certain man? Let him come into my life. Come on, pray one more time. Pray. It takes one man to change your business one man to change your ministry one man one man
Hallelujah. Listen to me. There are many of you here with great business ideas. Hallelujah. All you need is capital. You have done everything you should do. You need somebody to believe in you enough. Hallelujah. Listen. Truly, the race is not to the swift. And the battle is not to the strong. One man can announce what God is doing in your life. And bring to your life men who have been designed to honor it. I shared that scripture. To none of the widows in Israel was the prophet sent. God sent that to the one who could see his difference and honor him. Many of you have been in a place. You have potentials for the throne. But something is tying you down. Because you are hanging around people who cannot see what God is doing in your life. Is God speaking to someone here? There are many of our parents with their qualifications. They should never have to beg. Even if, you, if the cost of living on earth is one million per day, they should not be begging. But they need one man to announce them. One man to recommend them. Please take seriously what I'm saying. Because this is somebody's prayer request. Oh Lord, if somebody can believe in my business enough, to pump even if it's just 100,000 there. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are many of us in ministry here. We are great people. This ministry you see today. We enjoy recommendations. Mysterious recommendations. While I was coming, somebody was trying to call me again and again from the UK. And he was saying, man of God, don't ask me how... I got to find out about you and have your number. He said, when a man is in trouble, he will look for help anyhow. Are you getting my point? While you are sitting down to sleep, somebody is waking others to talk about you, but you must activate it. It doesn't happen by magic. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are many professors and doctors being underutilized because there is a system that cannot honor what they carry. There are many of you who graduated with excellent results. You've even added masters. And the king sent for Joseph. Somebody must send for you to leave the level that you have. And I prophesy, whoever should send for you in the name that is above all names. Listen, listen. There is a man of God, a popular man of God. I will not mention names. The man had the gift of God like whatever but nothing could announce that grace are you hearing what I'm saying people needed his anointing and his gift but nobody could announce it and then something happened one day he entered a taxi true story when he entered a taxi the Holy Spirit told him sow a seed of 30,000 naira to the driver and he didn't have much and he told the driver take and he sowed that seed Ah, the driver looked at him. He said, what will I give you? He said, nothing. He said, sir, can I collect your number? And he collected his number. Please listen to me. This is a true story. When he collected his number, the guy dropped. He said, Tom, may God bless you. He was feeling bad. He did not know that that was his moment of victory. Listen, the very next person that will enter that car, listen, they were part of the regional organizers of Redeem, the convention in UK. Are you getting me? One of the regions. And then the man was talking and said, Kai, we're looking for a man of God to complete the ministers we are bringing. And we need men of integrity, you know. And the driver said, sir, there was a man that gave me his number. This guy is a true man of God. And that was it. I'm serious. They called him and they said, sorry, we are from this, this region of Redeem. I tell you, they brought that man after that ministration. There were so many men of God that he never would have been able to see. Are you getting my point? They all called him and said, we'd like you to come and, and minister. Mike Mudok met a young man who was very gifted. Gifted, but there was nothing working in his life. And Mike Mudok looked at him and came. And he said, God told me to bless you. He wrote 17 letters to different ministries and said, this is an anointed man. Please open doors for him. And the guy got 17 invitations everybody it does not take time to change your story 
what looks like a mountain is in the pocket of another person are you hearing what i'm saying are you tired of praying are you tired of praying because we must call them for i don't want to waste your time let me just share it i don't know if you shared this testimony did you share your testimony Yerima? i'm not sure he shared his testimony maybe at an appointed time but let me say a bit of it what ambassador eh? unilever this come he just came back today we met together at the airport in abuja and then we came back together by the grace of god are you getting my point and by the ministry of just one great man prof hallelujah he has been selected as the ambassador of unilever nigeria are you, listen 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 the race is not to the swift they just came back from their training in lagos and we even bombed i was waiting for my luggage and i just saw him and they had told me he called me in lagos and he said he was around we never met how god can change a man's story my father worked for more than 10 or 15 years as assistant director of engineering there was no man to lift him his genius were rising and they, they they just trampled this man and it so happened that one man who used to be his junior he when when we went for crusade in 2006 six years he was the one who interpreted for me and he was also the one who interpreted for renard bonke when he came to joss he was that man on account of the kindness he went and said one or two things about my father and when they went to my father's um cv and all of that they said where has this man been they said immediately he should leave joss and report to lagos he has been there for three years now many of us are praying lord take me to the next level i'm telling you the secret you need a man hear me there are things you cannot do for yourself you may be anointed but your grace will remain there until a man can announce you may have a great business a multi-million and billion dollar business but it takes one man to believe in you and announce you are you getting my point i know one of my friends he was my classmate very intelligent and brilliant guy this guy finished furthered his education there was nobody to speak for him and this guy kept struggling for years nobody to speak for him and one day i i prayed i said oh lord but help this guy this guy has paid the price look when i say i i think i will classify him as a genius and i'm not telling a lie but i know other people before they even finish service the road has been made plain you need someone in your life please pray and say oh god send this man that can believe in me and announce what you have invested in my life please pray send a man to change my music ministry oh god send a man send a man into my family koinonia pray we are rounding up sopotopata send a man send a man send a man send a man into my life pray for your business pray for your job one recommendation is all you need one man who can believe in you struggling continues until there is a voice that can speak for you struggling continues until there is a man that can believe in you and invest in your grace hallelujah rise up on your feet i want to prophesy into your life I truly believe that this miracle service will bring remarkable results. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, please. As much as possible, if you can stand, stand inside and out. Hast thou commanded thy money? This system of God's kingdom does not work 
without it being activated hallelujah don't get too familiar that every miracle service we are speaking there is something that is happening hallelujah we are entering the eighth month and i want to pray for you right now father in the name of your son jesus christ the son of the living god i prophesy right now whoever needs to come into anyone's life for the next dimension of their lives to open up i call them forth right now in the name of jesus i call them forth right now in the name of jesus i call them forth right now in the name of jesus business help us ministry help us marriage help us anyone called jobless in this place in the name that is above all names we command by the power of the holy ghost let doors of job be open right now let it be open right now anyone called barry 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 in the name that is above all names we provoke fruitfulness we provoke fruitfulness hallelujah anything in your life that is dying business ministry potentials your gift your ideas your proposals your letters your visions your dreams in the name of the lord jesus christ i knock on the door of life and i command that let there be life 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 to that dry boat hallelujah everything that represents tragedy and disfavor in your life that it keeps working for others until it gets to your turn in the name that is above all names may supernatural doors of favor be open right now hallelujah i want to pray for your finance the lord is leading me to do this as many of you who believe it please can you hold a seed in your hand get a seed for some of you it may be a sacrificial seed if you don't believe it just just forget about it we don't cajole people we don't tell lies i want to speak into your finances hallelujah please lift it up is a prayer and a duty that god will come through in every area of our life but let me tell you something it will take a seed to open up the heavens just leave the hands leave the hands i want to rebuke the devourer for some of you this is for you a seed of mercy to speak over your non-tithing for some of you this is a seed of wisdom to open you up to ideas of wealth for some of you this is a seed of open heavens a seed of breakthrough just lift it up lift it up hallelujah. the lord is showing me 11 people the fire of god is coming on your seed from your hand 11 people 11 people right now lord let your power move let them know that this is not just a conjuring of men 11 people 11 people super yatamba let that seed be salted with fire we give it a voice in the realm of the spirit please lift it up let me speak with this seed aya, the power of god is moving because poverty poverty is one thing that god hates don't ever let anybody convince you that god is the author of lack and poverty your seed your seed is the key to getting out of this level trust me 
this is not a financial gimmick father right now with this seed in the mighty name of jesus every spirit of poverty goodness goodness how could we have ended this service without prophesying look at spirits i see it in the spirit there is an exit of wicked forces tying people's finances father in the name of jesus we release by the mystery of divine supply let there be abundance now let there be abundance now everything that has tied your financial life and that of your family we contend together as a family that it must be released in the name of jesus go ahead and drop the seed and pray in tongues quickly please we are rounding up please quickly ushers let's save time Many of you will experience breakthroughs, mighty breakthroughs. Lift your hands. We are not done, please. We are out of time. We have to hurry up. Please make sure you drop something. Make sure a seed leaves you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep the hands lifted. The ushers will get to you. But please... There is somebody outside. Ah, a mighty manifestation. The spirit of poverty is being broken outside. Outside, just lift your hands, please. I know we're out of time. Just give me one minute. You don't need to bring the people. Outside, just keep the, the hands lifted. Father, whoever those people are, let the fire of God locate them right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Poverty be broken. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. Hallelujah. Say the blessing of the Lord is my inheritance. Say the blessing of the Lord is my inheritance. And through my giving, I access that inheritance. Father, no, I'm praying for you now every limitation over anyone's life may that limitation fall now and every destiny helper that needs to come into your life to bring your life partner to bring your business partner to bring to connect you with graces in the name of jesus we release them into your life hallelujah give jesus praise Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Let me make an altar call very quickly right now. There are many of us here, you have never given your heart to the Lord. Please listen, inside and outside. We've never truly made that commitment to Jesus. Some of us have given our hearts to the Lord, but we have found ourselves derailing. And tonight, God is calling you home. Wherever you are, please leave your seat and come right now. Celebrate them. They are coming. Celebrate them. Don't wait for anybody. Jump up on your feet and come. Outside, wherever you are, God is talking to you and saying you need to make your, your ways right with Jesus. Please come. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Don't wait for anybody. Don't wait for anybody. Don't be ashamed. I know there are a number of people outside. Jesus is calling you to make your ways right. Jesus is calling you. Keep coming. God bless you. Hallelujah. We're out of time. Keep coming. Pray after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I give you my heart. Take my everything. Use me for your glory. Today, I make Jesus Lord of my life. I make up my mind to walk with the Spirit of God. I denounce sin. I denounce Satan and I receive the grace of God to live a victorious Christian life. Father, I pray for these ones. Bless them. Anoint them. Use them. May their decisions last. May their decisions be true. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I pray amen thank you for coming thank you for making this decision I'd like you to follow the usher follow the usher and he's going to lead you hallelujah now while I take the announcement if this is your first time of worshiping with us I'd like you to leave your seat and just run out here we want to bless and speak a word of prophecy over you God bless you we celebrate you outside no matter how far you are come come encourage them koinonia encourage them thank you ma thank you sir come on koinonia this is not the best we are grateful people in this house we are grateful people he brought them by the finger of god hallelujah keep coming god bless you keep coming god bless you thank you so much for making our time to come hallelujah we honor you we celebrate you this is koinonia a meeting put together by eternity network international this is our miracle service we're here every friday and god is building us we want to pray and prophesy into your life right now i want you to believe it because you will see the hand of god the bible says who has believed our report and to whom the hand of the lord has been stretched hallelujah praise the lord saints of god stretch your hands and let's bless them they came because they believed that god will step into their lives stretch your hands we prophesy over every aspect of your life god is coming through for you in the name of jesus christ whatever challenge you came here with we are assuring you that you will not return with it we bless you with hunger for the things of God. We bless you with the spirit of prayer. We bless you with the presence of God. We bless you with love for God. In the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you with the favor of God. You are like a well watered garden. In the mighty name of Jesus. May you be mightily used of God. In Jesus name. Thank you once again for coming.